Hi everyone, Matt here from MJL Tackle. Just having a look at a uh, product that's just arrived in stock. It's a secondhand carp lounge RT4 bait boat that has got the Raymarine Y-Fish installed on it. Also the autopilot function that can be operated via the tablet here and also lake bed mapping as well, which is a brilliant feature. Now when this boat came in, um, it came in with a tablet that had got a cracked screen. The original tablet, it was cracked. And what we've done is we've replaced the tablet with an identical Samsung tablet. The, the tablet that you need is the uh, Samsung um, A6 tablet, and this is uh, the replacement one. So I just wanted to go through, when you uh, have to replace a tablet, or perhaps want to load the Carp Lounge apps and software onto a new tablet, how do you do that and link it back in? To the bait boat um, so that it can operate as it should so let's have a quick look then at how we've prepared um, this replacement tablet to make sure that it can function with the carp lounge apps so the first thing you need to do is go to the play store and you need to download the free apps we've got here bait boat remote version 3 app that has been downloaded from the app store and also the raymarine y fish this has got the raymarine y fish fitted in it so therefore we need that app to be able to function the echo sounder that's built into the boat okay once you've downloaded um, both of these apps the next thing to do is to make sure that your tablet is prepared is ready to go so what i'm going to do is go into settings and one of the important things you need to do is go into connections and just make sure that your Bluetooth is set to on. Um, this needs to remain on the whole time that you're operating because it's the Bluetooth function that connects the tablet with the control box at the back here. Okay, so that's on. That's not a problem. Uh, Wi-Fi as well. What I'll do is if I switch the boat on, it will... <clears throat> switch on the Raymarine Y-Fish and the Y-Fish will give a Wi-Fi signal to the tablet here which I can then hopefully uh, select and connect to. So I've made sure that the Bluetooth is on. I'm just scanning for Wi-Fi networks. Here it is. So the RM stands for Raymarine. Okay, so um, I've clicked on that to connect to it. Now what it will ask for is a password and uh, you'll find the password for the Raymarine Y-Fish on the battery cover underneath the side here <clears throat> is the Raymarine password there so that's what you need to input into the uh, Wi-Fi Raymarine signal to connect to the boat. So once you've done that you can then the next thing to do is just check that your apps are allowing everything that Carp Lounge needs to fully function. So I'm going into apps next in settings and I'm going to go to the Bait Boat V3 remote and here I'm going to scroll down and just make sure that my permissions are turned on so that the Carp Lounge software can activate all of the permissions needed on the tablet to function properly. So here we've got location and storage. Just make sure those are both turned on here. Location and storage turned on. Brilliant. Okay, now the tablet has got Bluetooth switched on, the Wi-Fi connected to the Raymarine, and also I've adjusted the Bait Boat Remote V3 permissions. What I can do now is go back <clears throat> into the app here, Bait Boat Remote V3, because that's what I want to set up. This is the main um, app that's going to connect to the boat and control it from the tablet that I've got here. So let's open it up. When you open this for the first time, it might look a little bit different. So when you open it up and when everything's been connected before, you get these alerts here. Yes, connect to device. Um, but the first time you do it, the first time you open it up, you won't get that notification, okay? Because it's not set up, um, it's not paired up with the boat and control box. So the first time you open up the app, it's gonna look like this. So let's have a look at coupling up then, or putting the um, control box, linking it to the tablet here. So what you need to do is, when you open it for the first time, go into settings, which is just at the top here. Okay. Once you're in settings, there's a couple of things you need to do to make sure that the app is set up with your boat. The first thing I'm going to do is go into this part here, adjust trim values and engine preference. 
if you click on that you need to look for configure codes because there's a unique code that your boat will have that the app needs in order to control and pair up properly so you can see the configuration code is just here and I've had to input that in when you open the app for the first time there'll be a random sort of random configuration code and you need to change that code to the code that is inside your boat here we go so here's the configuration code that I need to input into the app which is just there. I need to do it exactly the same because it is case sensitive. And once I've inputted that into the app here, then I can press save. Okay, and once we've saved it, we know then that <clears throat> there's no issues in, in linking the two together. Okay, let's just have a look through some of the other settings here because it's interesting to note what's switched on and what's switched off. So if I just Put that there and just hold it there you can just compare to make sure that yours is similar I have, in, I have changed um, it to inch and feet because normally I think it's centimeters and meters okay but just have a look to see what's switched on and what's switched off okay next we'll go into trim these are the existing levels that the trim is set at okay so you can see those and adjust accordingly if yours are different it's just a good starting point basically configure code we've put that in so that's fine so what we're going to do is we're going to go back and now what I want to do is let's have a go at connecting the tablet and the app with the boat okay so what I'm going to do is go back here and just put on the control box switch the control box to internal and what you'll notice is the flashing light and when that's flashing it's looking for a signal to connect to so whilst it's flashing I'm going to say connect to the control box and here it's come up with bait boat when I first did this it didn't come up with anything so I was panicking a bit but down here it says search for device if you click on search for device let's click that uh, the circle spins round here and then it will come up with all the Bluetooth um, all the Bluetooth appliances or the Bluetooth um, devices that are nearby that it can connect to now because we're out in the middle of the lake there's only one that's come up which makes it very easy and that is <clears throat> the bait boat so connecting now at this point what you'll find is uh, when you do this for the first time it will want a code to connect to the boat so the Bluetooth is connecting to the control box and the boat and it wants a code in order to clarify that it's connecting to the right device and the code is four three two one okay four three two one um, and when you do that it will just ensure then that the boat and the control box are connected to the app just here okay so once you've done that let's go to manual and the boat switched on it should then control the boat there we go you can hear the boat going okay brilliant okay so all good next let's go back because what we want to do is we want to run two apps at the same time we want the Ray Marine and also the uh, bait boat app here on at the same time so let's just see how we do that so we'll go into the Wi fish remember I've connected it up to the Wi-Fi so there's no problem there okay when you get to the screen it will look something like this because it's not in the water we're not getting any signal at the moment just try and get the light a bit better okay I'm gonna come out of that and what I want to do <clears throat> actually let's open it up I'm gonna do a split screen so if you click on here on the Samsung tablet okay and then it gives you the option to do another split screen so we've done the split screen there and the split screen here okay and what that does is it just puts it to one side of the tablet let's get rid of these so what you'll find is it's just given you a split screen and now what I'm going to do is choose what I want to put next to it I'm going to put uh, I'm going to put if I tap that I'm going to put the Y fish next to it okay so split screen Oop. okay and there we go so we've got the two functions now 
we've got the control and the Y fish that will be running at the same time on this screen. I personally prefer having it the other way around, so the echo there. So if you hit the center part, it will just come up with a menu. And then with that menu, what we can do is just split it. It's a cold day today. Let's see. There it is. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is just move it round the other way. There we go. And now it's round the other way. Um, so again, I can control the boat whilst also seeing the Y fish, uh, fish finder here. Now, it's a bit of a faff doing splitting it each time, but what you can do is you can pair these two together. So you just press it once on the home screen and it will pop up as you've set it here. So I'll just run you through that very quickly, as quick as I can. Um, I actually, I can do that here. If I click on here again, Okay, this part here, add to home. I'm do it. Okay, so added to home. Let's see then, if I go back to home, you'll see it just here, the split screen. Okay, I've actually done it before, so you can see a version I've saved here. So what, it's, what it does is it saves the pair together. Now if I go into it, it will automatically be as I've set it up and it's all ready to go. Hope that helps. Um, if you've got any issues, please do leave a comment below. I'm not the most technical person, so I'm sorry if um, I've not explained it quite as well as some other people, but hopefully that will help you. If you have any issues with a tablet cracking or you need to replace a tablet, hopefully this helps to show you how to set it up, make sure it's all running. Please do like the MJL Tackle page on Facebook, follow us on Instagram. Also, why not check out our new website? We've got a new website uh, where all of these items will be listed. So please do get in contact, follow the business for all of the best used tackle. Hopefully speak to you soon.